Olha lá, galinha. Olha Games. Seguindo aqui com a busca do Robert, que a gente viu no episódio anterior. Que ele não estava no velório do Magic the Dean. Ele mandou uma outra pessoa para morrer no lugar dele. Né? Essa pessoa disse que ele estava indo para Arsu para falar com o Saladino e com o Rei Ricardo. Então a gente está tentando chegar a ele, ao Robert, antes de ele falar com os reis dos dois exércitos. Né? Uh, então, quando a gente vai indo lá, você pode já se inscrever no canal se você não é inscrito. Pode deixar aquele like, sugestões e opiniões. Né? E lembra de ativar as legendas para ficar por dentro do que está sendo dito. Porque aqui agora a gente tem que correr. Não, eu tenho que matar eles aqui mesmo. Olha! Caramba! Tem cavalo? Nem dá pra ir. Ah! O carqueiro do Janho. Mais gente, mais gente. Não, 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 não
Chegando nos homens do Ricardo. E aí? <risos> aí, gente, pra. Hold a moment. It's words I bring, not steel. Offering terms of surrender, then. It's about time. You misunderstand. It's Al Mualim who sends me, not Salah al Din. Assassin! What is the meaning of this? And be quick with it! You've a traitor in your midst. And he has hired you to kill me? Come to gloat about it before you strike? I wouldn't be taken so easily! It's not you I've come to kill. It's him. Speak then! That I may judge the truth. Who is this traitor? Robert de Sable. My lieutenant! <laughs> he aims to betray. That's not the way he tells it. He seeks revenge against your people for the havoc you've wrought in Acre. And I am inclined to support him. Some of my best men were murdered by some of yours. It was I who killed them, and for good reason. Hear me out. William of Montferrat. He sought to use his soldiers to take Akka by force. Gagné de plus. He would use his skills to indoctrinate and control any who resisted. Sabran. He intended to block the ports, preventing your kingdom from providing aid. They betrayed you, and they took their orders from Robert. You expect me to believe this outlandish tale? You knew these men better than I. Are you truly surprised to learn of their ill intentions? Is this true? My liege, it is an assassin that stands before us. These creatures are masters of manipulation. Of course it isn't true. I've no reason to deceive. Oh, but you do. You're afraid of what will happen to your little fortress. Can it withstand the combined might of the Saracen and the Crusader army? My concern is for the people of the Holy Land. If I must sacrifice myself for there to be peace, so be it. This is a strange place we find ourselves in. Each of you accusing the other. There really is no time for this. I must be off to meet with Saladin and enlist his aid. The longer we delay, the harder this will become. Hold a moment, Robert. Why? What do you intend? 
Surely you do not believe him? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. Thank you. No, Robert, not you. Then who? The Lord. Let this be decided by combat. Surely God will side with the one whose cause is righteous. If this is what you wish. It is. So be it. To arms, assassin! Yeah. Ah, Ah, Agora, Roberto. It's done then. Your schemes, like you, are put to rest. <laughs> you know nothing of schemes. You're but a puppet. He betrayed you, boy. Just as he betrayed me. Speak sense, Templar. Or not at all. Nine men he sent you to kill, yes? The nine who guarded the treasure's secret. What of it? It wasn't nine who found the treasure, assassin. Not nine, but ten. A tenth? None may live who carry the secret. Give me his name. Oh, but you know him well. And I doubt very much you'd take his life as willingly as you've taken mine. Who? It is your master, Al Mualim. But he is not a Templar. Did you never wonder how it is he knew so much? Where to find us, how many we numbered, what we aspired to attain? He is the master of the assassins. We, oui, master of lies. You and I just two more pawns in his grand game. And now, with my death, only you remain. Do you think he'll let you live? Knowing what you do, I've no interest in the treasure. Ah, but he does. The only difference between your master and I is that he did not want to share. Ironic, isn't it? That I, your greatest enemy, kept you safe from harm. But now you've taken my life, and in the process, ended your own. Assassin, it seems God favors your cause this day. God had nothing to do with it. I was the better fighter. Ah, you may not believe in him, but it seems he believes in you. Before you go, I have a question. Ask it then. Why? Why travel all this way? Risk your life a thousand times, all to kill a single man. He threatened my brothers and what we stand for. Ah. Vengeance, then? No, not vengeance. Justice, that there might be peace. This is what you fight for? Peace? Do you see the contradiction? Some men cannot be reasoned with. Like that madman, Saladin. I think he'd like to see an end to this war as much as you. So I've heard, but never seen. 
Even if he doesn't say it, it's what the people want. Saracen and Crusader alike. The people know not what they want. It's why they turn to men like us. Then it falls to men like you to do what is right. <laughs> Nonsense. We come into the world kicking and screaming. Violent and unstable. It is what we are. We cannot help ourselves. No. We are what we choose to be. <laughs> Your kind. Always playing with words. I speak the truth. There's no trick to be found here. We'll know soon enough. But I fear you cannot have what you desire this day. Even now, that heathen Saladin cuts through my men and I must attend to them. But perhaps, having seen how vulnerable he is, he will reconsider his actions. Yes. In time, what you seek may be possible. You were no more secure than him. Do not forget that. The men you left behind to rule in your stead did not intend to serve you for longer than they had yes. to. Yes. Yes. I am well aware. Then I'll take my leave. My master and I have much to discuss. It seems that even he is not without fault. He is only human, as are we all. You, as well. Safety and peace be upon you. Oi. Agora temos que voltar para maciar. I said get up, god damn it. Eita. Listen. Oh no. Seems your assassin friends found us. What? How'd you do it, Desmond? Hey, hey, look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on down there has got nothing to do with me. They're here for you, and I sure as shit didn't invite them. What's the situation down there? We're taking heavy fire. Can you contain it, or do I need to evacuate the prisoner? Only five or six. We've got them outnumbered. A couple of wounded, but we'll pull through. We'll get it under control. God damn you, Desmond. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I told you I had nothing to do with this. How would I even contact them? Telepathy? Come on! Doesn't matter. They'll be dead soon enough. Here, have a listen. That's been neutralized. Looks like the cavalry won't be coming. Dunno, Doc. We're freaking out a minute ago. The little research facility not as secure as you thought it was? Worried they'll be back with more? I don't think so, Desmond. What Lucy here is trying to say is that there aren't any assassins left to come for you. We've been very busy this past year, hunting down your little enclaves, your desert communes and whatnot. I'm afraid you're on your own. Rest up, Mr. Miles. Tomorrow, we finish this. Yeah. Dá pra conversar com a Lúcia aqui agora. É. I'm sorry, Desmond. You mentioned the desert. Do you think they sent a team there, but the place was deserted. I don't know where your parents are, and I can't promise they're still alive. But I think they got away. Thanks. Thanks for checking. It's not as bad as it seems. What are you talking about? They just killed, literally killed, my only chance of getting out of here. And then I find out the assassins are all but destroyed, and, and Christ, I still don't know what these people are planning. But I do know they plan to kill me when they're done. I am screwed, okay? What do you want me to do? Just try and have a little faith. You're... Have faith. Rest up, Desmond. You're gonna need the energy. Não consigo mais falar com ela, mas ela se mostrou. Aren't you tired? Uma assassina. Uh, bem, eu acho que agora eu consigo entrar naquela sala ali. Só tem que entrar aqui. Apertar os botão.
usar os PC. Que daí eu acho que eu acho o código para sala ali. Vamos ver. Hum... Acho que todos os aqui eu já vi. Aqui, ó. É o código da sala ali. Então, é aquele ali, mas isso eu não preciso lembrar, né? Que ele já mostra ali. Tá, esse aqui a gente já viu também. Só ver se tem alguma coisa nova no... No PC do Vidic. Essa aqui é melhor segurança na fronteira dos Estados Unidos com o México. Estão falando de mim. É aqui essa parte aqui. Acho que isso aqui a gente já viu. É, e a parte do código da, da porta. Então. Agora a gente consegue entrar naquela sala. E mexer nesse PC que tá aqui, ó. Que ele tá falando aqui, falando das, das dos pedaços, né? As partes do Éden, que são os artefatos. Né? Falando de projetos, então aqui é só. Né? Ó, até tá falando que o, o Santo Grau seria um, uma parte do Éden. Então tá falando bastante coisa aqui. Isso aqui seria interessante, né? Mas aí teria que dar uma... Acho que assim, pra quem manja de inglês, dá pausa ali no vídeo e lê. Quem não manja, pessoal, tenho certeza que você consegue achar uma tradução disso aí na internet, tá? Mas ele só traz assim, mais curiosidades, né? Lembrando que os jogos aqui do Assassin's Creed sempre trabalham assim, com versões alternativas das questões, né? A gente pode ver no decorrer dos vídeos até questões dogmáticas. Beleza? Mas com isso, o episódio de hoje fica por aqui. Né? A gente finalmente conseguiu matar o Robert Sábio. Mas agora foi revelado quem é o principal inimigo aí, que é o próprio Almo Allen. Beleza? Mas isso fica para o próximo episódio. Beleza, pessoal? Então, se você não é inscrito, já se inscreve no canal. Deixa aquele like, sugestões, opiniões. Você não paga nada e me ajuda muito. Beleza? E como sempre, obrigado por tudo, desculpa qualquer coisa, olhem games deixando vocês por aqui, hora puxar o ronco.